Monty, wonderful to have you on the show this evening. Uh, today already, I have heard former Italian Prime Ministers Conte and uh, Renzi describe Berlusconi as a man who made history and a man who polarised debate like no other. How will you remember him, sir? Well, I remember him uh, as the one who appointed me to become European Commissioner as soon as he was in office in 94. And at the same time, I remember him as the outgoing Prime Minister in November 2011, when uh, uh, his government wasn't able to steer Italy through a huge financial crisis, partly generated by its uh, very government. So a, 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 a quite diverse person, certainly with an incredible courage and willingness to change things. Um, I would have liked uh, uh, him to become uh, a, a real modernizer uh, of uh, uh, Italy with the structural changes, with uh, uh, freeing up markets, uh, a, lit a little bit like uh, uh, what, what uh, Margaret Thatcher was in the UK in the 80s. Um, but. Uh, he did not have the persistence to, uh, to do that. He was looking for popularity in the short term, and uh, he was uh, too uh, conciliatory with uh, tax evasion. So I, I think uh, it's a mixture of uh, uh, innovation uh, and uh, uh, lack of uh, structural improvement in the economy. Yeah, a, a flamboyant man, but clearly with a complicated legacy. You know, we know him, of course, around the world as uh, Italy's, one of Italy's longest serving prime minister. But of course, he was, Mr. Monti, a self made uh, billionaire first, a media mogul who, unlike Margaret Thatcher, had no experience in public office. How do you think he achieved that? Uh... Well, he was uh, led uh, uh, by his character and his uh, strong uh, ego to believe that uh, managing politics uh, is like is a, a bit a little bit like managing a company. And he was, of course, very successful in a variety of industries, including the sports industry. So uh, probably he thought that. Uh, Having a strong party, being in fact uh, the owner of the party, he could mm. uh, command over politics uh, as uh, he was able to command uh, on his own companies. But of course, that's entirely different. And, and of course, he was the first to create the kind of private national TV channel outside Rai Uno and Rai Due. How much did that help him then to transform the media landscape uh, and drive his narrative? Enormously, enormously, because uh, um, not only he, uh, yes, he had all those channels created by him, but also because uh, he was uh, communication and narrative and seduction made man. He, he, he was uh, so uh, able to communicate so simple and let me say also simplistic that he uh, captured the imagination of, uh, of, of people by and large and uh, they would uh, follow him both in the sense of uh, buying his uh, products and uh, buying his political uh, offer. And uh, it took each time uh, of the four, I think, that he was in government, it took some time for the reality to, uh, to turn back and to show that some or many of his promises uh, could not be delivered. Yeah, which clearly explained how voters continue to bring him back to power, even with so much scandal, of course. Mr. Monti, Really appreciate you speaking to us. Mario Monti there, joining us from Milan in Italy. Thank you.